Hello there. Today we are going to be playing uh, with colors and the way it works in cavalry. And this is going to be really, really, really interesting. Kinetic Hulk series by Hulk 79. So I have this text here set in Neue has grotesque uh, 75 volt. This is kind of the same same as Saint Helvetica. And first thing that we need to understand is the color uh, controls or palette is up here on the upper right part of the interface. So we have like the RGB way of dealing with things, uh, also like with code here, but yeah, I'm going to go back to RGB. The first thing I want to show you is like, you can just create a palette for your scene. So you start like picking different colors and just dropping them there. And you see that we can even like after creating them we can link them to whatever second thing that i want to uh, show you is here in library palettes you have some presets that are really really cool and you also can create your own like i did here uh, we are going to check how to do that later but uh, i a feature that i really really love i think it's it is fantastic here in Cavalry is the generator tab here so the way this works is like you choose a color for example this beautiful dark orange it's not dark but yeah <laughs> orange and in type if you change here it kind of like get for example similar colors in analogous and then you can for example decrease or increase the number depending on the type of combination you are choosing uh, you have more or less for example here in triadic you have the maximum is six but for example complementary you know what a complementary color is this is really really interesting we can uh, keep it at two so even if it is like a way of understanding more like how color works because if you don't remember uh, what the complementary color of magenta was you can kind of refresh your memory with this so this is really really interesting okay so again some of these you can increase a lot the number and then Again, this color here is like what drives the whole combination. So it is really interesting. Okay. So then after you have something that you like, like for example, this beautiful rainbow kind of color palette, you can come here and you can create an array or you can create a gradient. Later on, we are going to create an array of colors, but also you can save this as a preset. So let's do that right now and you see here it is going to be located uh, within the other presets so let's say we give it a name we 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 save it and then in swatches if you open this here we have our recently created very fresh palette right here KTS okay so I can start using that so you see how cool all that is uh, also obviously again going back to this control here you can just if you have a reference for any color let's say you are working for a specific brand and they have a specific blue for example you can introduce here the hexadecimal uh, code but yeah again going back to rgb uh, let's start doing something for example with this uh, palette that we created okay you can go to this hamburger menu here and you can create an array from palette okay we are going to create that and that is like just all those colors with an index number okay so let's say that i want all these letters to be set on one of these colors 
uh, we have like one two three four five six seven letters here so it's going to pick only from zero to six but yeah that's okay for now so how we do that okay because you know the colors in the field here this is only one color so what we are going to do is we are going to here in shape in the text controls we are going to add in the deformers our beloved sub mess okay deformer and then in this sub mess if we click twice on it on the fill we can activate it so that this fill of the sub mess is what what drives the color on the text so now it is only a matter of clicking and dragging from the color array into the color here and um, bada bing bada boom we have like this color array that we created from this palette here driving uh, or generating a color for each letter okay so i mean like <laughs> the way cavalry handles color is just very very cool and very it, it, it leads to very interesting ways of creating so yeah start playing with it i really hope that this little humble tutorial sparked uh, your interest for this remember that i have this buy me a coffee uh, web page uh, where you can contribute uh, i would appreciate it a lot uh, thanks for watching this and see you in the next one. Kinetic Type Series by Hulk79.